Vincent's Noctis. Subscribe to Vincent Valentine EX Turk channel. I present you your father's glaive. Now go forth, my king. Shine your light unto the world. Spare me your sycophancy. I've indulged your false heroism for far too long. You tried to save the world in my stead, but it wasn't enough. The crystal chose me, not you. What's up, my arch of chaos? Last video of the day, or should I say, last fan theory of the day? Well, I haven't done no fan theory things for a while, and let me get this turned down a little bit. Okay, it's turned down a little bit. Anyways. Um, the last fan theory that was very peculiar for me. If you, if you watch the clip in the beginning of the video, you'll see why this is very peculiar to me. Now, why is this peculiar, you say, Vincent? It's just the fact that maybe Arden's motives are a lot more than just jealousy. There's probably something that builds into his jealousy. And what builds to his jealousy, I think is the fact that he thinks he was the true king all along. Now, how do you get to that conclusion, Vincent? Explain. I think all this time he thought he should have been sent in instead of his older brother, Azunia Lucius Caelium. Is and this is why Azu this is what led to the murder of Azunia Lucius Caelium by Arden's hands. Because he does he thought he deserved the power his big brother had instead of instead of, and, 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 you know instead of his big brother having but the the crystal has chosen Azunia over Arden because of few traits even before the start before the corruption of the star scourge they could sense he was jealous of his brother his discontent for his brother's success and just that little bit of evil it's not surprising that the gods won't bless you. It's not surprising that the gods won't bless you with their power. They see you have a little bit evil. You know? That's why, you know, in any kind of mythological lore or even biblical uh, lore or any kind of lore, the gods of light will never choose anyone who has darkness with them. And darkness can all come from sin and sin is from human emotions Arden is jealous of his brother and jealousy is a sin thus the same jealousy that Arden felt made him kill Azunia before the star scourge it took it took him to the path even if he never turned into a demon by the star scourge he was already going down the path of darkness because of that and like I said it takes just a little bit that's why Azunia was chosen and not Arden, but in Arden's mind, since Arden is full of himself and Arden is arrogant, he believes he should have been the king all along. You know, he believes, he, even though he works with the Niflheim Empire in the current timeline, and the Niflheim Empire is notorious for doing evil things, many evil, you know, things, Arden sees himself as playing both sides. But he's only he sees himself spying on the Niflheim Empire, on you know, and using them to fight Insomnia to get what he wants or what he thinks is his, not just the crystal, but the ring and everything. He even thinks that he should kill Noctis to take the ring. And that's why he let. That's why he helped. That's why he helped Noctis through his journey to get the ring completed, so he could kill Noctis to take the ring and ascend by false mean pretenses. Because Eos didn't choose Arden. Yes. Arguability in this fan theory, yes. Eos is, e Eos is one of her sons is Arden, but Arden chose the path of darkness. Like that, and this is where it comes. This is where it comes to. This is where it comes to the play of the Omen trailer. You know where it shows Noctis given into the darkness. If you're not, if you have a little bit of darkness, you can't become a king of light. You can't have the power of the light. You know. Noctis gave his life in order to save everybody. 
Because he had that the power. But the power, that's why they make you give up your life. Because your afterlife would have to be decided right then and there because... You, because, you know... Some of, that, some of that power should not exist. You know? And the only people that should have that kind of power are people of light. Only people of light. And not just only biblical, Greek mythology, but even in monk culture, you can only ascend if you're of light, if your heart is pure. Pure-hearted people have ten times more power than people who are straight evil. And Arden is straight evil, even before the Star Scourge. Arden killed his brother, Azunia Lucius Kylium. Because he was jealous that he didn't get to ascend. Because in Arden's mind, he thinks he's the ascended king. Now, the reason why I say this is synonymous to each other. Because it makes sense. Remember when he talks to Ravis. After cutting off Ravis' arm and the disguise of Noctis. Saying that he shouldn't take the power in his stead. He should, you know, he that he shouldn't have tried to, this fake heroism. Heroism. And take the power of the crystal in his name because the crystal the, the, he thinks the crystal belongs to him. Because there's one time that Ravis thought the crystal should belong to well maybe not the crystal but he thought the ring should belong to him, and that's why Ar Ravis lost his arm in Kingsglaive. And you know Arden kept an account of that since you know Arden and Ravis were once partners when they were working together in the Niflheim Empire. So hence because they were partners at one point. He know everything that Ravis was thinking, and, and he said that he tried to take this crystal in his stay. Now, when he said he, he will take the crystal in his stay, what that means is, um, well, what that what, what that means that he tried to take the crystal in his stay would be the fact that um, Ravis thought he should be the king at one point, and Arden didn't like that because Arden's a jealous king, like he says. Arden said it himself. He's a jealous king. You know? He doesn't like anyone taking the power. He doesn't want Noctis to have the power. I mean, he only helped Noctis to, so he can gain that power for himself. He doesn't want Noctis to have that power. He doesn't want Ravis to have that power. And he doesn't even want Idolus to have that power. So, you know... Noctis did Idolus a favor by slaying him in that one battle. Even though Idolus comes back because he's still linked to the Star Scourge because of the because of Pharaohus. But he did he, you know, he did Idolus a favor because Ari would have even after after Noctis after Noctis has been defeated and he would have took throne, he would have killed Idolus. He would have he would he would have he would have took the crystal from Idolus and kill him and and send him away. Even though, yes, or at least modified him or did something to make Idolus his servant, you know. Just like he did with Ravis at the in the chapter thirteen. So the point I'm trying to get with this is now where I'm driving the point is he doesn't want no one having the power. He got King Regis killed, you know, he actually technically he killed uh Ravis because you know, that was the final blow. Ravis had at least some energy to live. But when Arden cut off his arm after Ravis took that big fall, and then Ravis lost the will to live because he thought he was being betrayed by Noctis because Arden took the form of Noctis, you know, you know, you know, Arden, you know, Arden said those words that he tried to take the crystal of my state. So he would have, so even, it, so let's just say Arden does beat Noctis, takes the power. He would kill Idolus and take the ring and tell Idolus to, to shove it because Arden believes he should have the crystal and the ring because he thinks he's the chosen king. Arden thinks he was the chosen king all along. But does that negate the fact that he's evil? No, he is evil. He is undiluted, pure evil. He's pure evil from his own selfish desires to obtain the ascension of the crystal. But he's also pure evil. He's also added with the added with the demons of the Star Scourge and became the physical embodiment of the Star Scourge. Pretty much the only way to get rid of the Star Scourge was to was to get rid of Arden. 
But it wouldn't have, the other kings tried that before, but all they did was erase his name from history, but didn't see the source that Arden comes back from. It's the king's ring. The Lucii ring spawns back Arden each and every time, no matter how many times you erase his name from history. He will always come back even stronger and newer and more powerful than he did before. The only reason why Noctis was able to beat him really easy is because Noctis became the true Ascended King. And not just the Ascended King alone. Noctis didn't just become Ascended King of, of, uh, alone like all the, some of the other kings that became the Knights of Round. He became the Ascended God. He became a God of Light and wiped out Arden. Even though it was the sacrifice of his physical body, only his spiritual and astral body would 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 exist, and, be, and he never had to become knights of the round because he was the one who finished all the king's job. That's why the kings were watching over Noctis when he fight all Arden. But the point is, it's not Noctis video. The point is, in Arden's mind, he thought he should have been the king. He thought he should have had the power, but he was never worthy. But in his mind, he was. Now, narcissists, they, narcissists tend to believe, that's why I think that Arden has the same mental illness as Kuja a little bit, because Kuja's a narcissist. Kuja blew up an entire world because he couldn't live, he couldn't let a world exist without, couldn't let a world exist with his, with his name erased from history. Well, Arden feels the same way, but also... Arden can't live in a world where he's not the Ascended King. Because narcissists, they're about themselves 24-7 hours a day. And Arden's a narcissistic, star-scourge, jealous king. So that's what made him twisted. And for three and he's lived for 3,000 years. So that time so what twisted Arden was the fact he thought he should have been king. He was jealous of his brother. Even murdered his brother and his, uh, brother, murdered his brother, you know, became the star scourge, so he was unclean, got his name erased from history so many times, lived for 3,000 years, had other pursuers of the power he was looking for, you know, Eos' tragic death, all those things made him so twisted, that's why when you fight, that's why... That's why when you fight Arden in the final battle, uh, when you see him on the throne, that's why he's playing with dead bodies. And notice, even though all of them were people that Noctis knew, except one factor. One was Idolus. I uh, Now, Noctis never met Idolus in his human form. He never got to know uh, Idolus in his human form. So why would that play in significance to, to Noctis? It doesn't. It only plays significant to him, significant to him because Idolus is in the way of the power he has. He only used Idolus. Idolus was only a tool and nothing more. So we can assume during the ten years, Arden killed Idolus permanently this time, even with the star scourged up. That's why you see Idolus' body because Arden doesn't. I mean, because Noctis doesn't know Idolus, and not in a good. Is if anything, he knows him in a bad way. But it was to show Noctis that if you're against my power and trying to challenge my power, then I'm going to do anything it takes to get my power back. Any means necessary. That's why Idolus' body was one of the bodies he was playing with. Because he wanted to show Noctis what's going to happen if you're challenged to his power. Because in Arden's mind, he thinks he's the good guy. Nar narcissistic people tend to think that they're the good guy on everything. That they're the, you know... That they're good, that they can't do no evil, that they're the savior, that they can save the world, that, you know, everybody else is evil that's against him. Even though, objectively, Arden was in the wrong. So that's my fan theory of why Arden thinks he was the chosen king. And why he thinks he was supposed to ascend as the chosen king. So may the crystal be with you. Like and subscribe. By the way, it's my birthday. I turned 26 today. I mean, tonight. So, may the crystal be with you. Like and just...